This is the outdoor motion sensor that we're going to try from YoLink. They claim that it has a quarter mile range and uh, it comes in a small little package with a pivoting mount that you can screw to a post or to a tree or something. So we're going to go ahead and try it out. They say that the battery is good for two years. Just know that you do need to have the corresponding hub in order to use one of these devices. So let's go ahead and test it out. So this is the motion sensor. It has a screen on the front with a weather cover for, to protect it from the rain. This is the model YS7805-UC. uses two AA batteries, which do come included. I've covered up the QR code just because that's for adopting it. It does have an indicator light on the front. It lights up red every time that it detects motion, and it's also used for binding it to the hub. The uh, little bottom mount here pivots so you can angle it in the right direction. And I found that the four screws are sufficient for holding it. It does come with four stainless steel screws and it is pretty well sealed. Uh, I've had one outside now for over a year with no issues. Okay, so here's the plan. We're going to put the hub here in the off-grid cabin right in this corner and we are going to install two motion sensors, one here in the middle of the driveway, and we're going to add another motion sensor right here at the driveway gate. Now this is quite a long driveway, so we're gonna go ahead and measure it to give us just kind of an idea of how far uh, the hub is going to be from these motion sensors. Uh, the driveway, as you can see, is kind of like an S-shaped driveway, which it's not going to be conducive for the range. It's not going to even have line of sight. And as you can see here, if we go ahead and measure it to approximately the gate location, we're going to be pushing about 980 feet. And a lot of that is located in the trees. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to see if this motion sensor placed approximately 980 feet along this path is going to work. Uh, several hundred feet of that is going to be in the trees. And you can see where it, there's a little piece and then it'll go back to the, to the road and then back to trees. So almost the entire length is actually going to be through a wooded area. And that's going to definitely affect the range that this has. Uh, the middle sensor is going to be placed approximately right here at around 564 feet. Here is another view. Uh, bird's eye, you can see the tree line here very clearly. You can see they're pretty good sized trees that it's going to be going through. And so that's just another view of where the hub back at the cabin all the way to the gate in a direct line of sight, um, which isn't much line of sight there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and speed this section up here, but this is the driveway. Uh, the shed or the cabin is behind us, and this again is about a thousand feet. And you can see there's some sparse parts of the trees, but it's actually fills in pretty well and uh, this is the entire length of the driveway that we just showed on the map. The trees are approximately 40 feet tall in this area and the cabin height where the hub is is sitting at around five feet tall on a, on a, on a bench and uh, so it's definitely going straight through the trees. Here is the motion sensor. It's attached at the gate and you can actually see here, uh, there's a few spider webs on it, so it's been out here for a couple weeks now as I've been testing it. And uh, even with the direct sun, there's no issues. That is directly towards the cabin. Now, here we have the app. So here is the motion sensor. You can see here, no motion was detected over the last day uh, when I was recording this. And you'll see that the battery life is full. Uh, we have lots of different options that you're welcome to go through here. You can set names, you can put it in different locations. 
Um, we have different alarm strategies, so you can say if you want to be notified only when you're uh, away from the property or all the time or a different arrangement. You can turn on and off that red LED that I was talking about and you can say, hey, only trigger this every one minute or I only want it to be triggered every five minutes so you don't get too many notifications. I put it on high sensitivity so that way I would get uh, notifications from farther away. And then it also says uh, what type of state it's in so you can see that it's online and you can also see things like um, uh, the different status and such. Now you can see the model number and the serial number and such. The cool thing that I have found with these sensors is they all have built in temperature sensors. Now there is no easy way to see it from the dashboard, but it is pretty cool that it's in the settings so you can reference it. Okay, so what we're going to pay attention to is the signal intensity. Here you can see it still indicates that it's good at negative 114 decibels. The one that's only halfway up the street is only reading negative 113 decibels at still good. So this definitely is getting uh, a very good signal and the response time from the time that I trigger the uh, motion sensor to the time that I get a notification on the phone is less than five seconds. And to me that that's, you know, super satisfactory. And just a reminder, so you can see again where the cabin is on the left side uh, at the beginning of the arrow and where the arrow ends on the right side at the gate. So that signal strength is at the gate there. So my review of this product is that it is going to work really well. I'll be testing it out over the next couple of months and provide a follow-up, but uh, I would definitely recommend this. Here's a quick uh, screenshot of YoLink's website where they uh, list some of the features and benefits of this particular motion sensor. If you found this video to be helpful, I'm going to be doing a review on some of their other devices such as their smart plugs to help more of an automation uh, occur to save on some energy as well as to monitor some of the energy usage since this is an off-grid uh, cabin where there is no uh, utilities at all so uh, if you like that please like and subscribe this video uh, feel free to reach out with any questions you might have on it i'll try to answer it the best i can but this is just the first start uh, we'll start showing the whole ecosystem as it develops here over the next couple of months take care